Hi, One Hour Smart Home here, and today we're gonna to teach you how to wire a Nest thermostat with two-stage heating. If you've got two-stage heating, it's really simple to wire up a Nest thermostat, and all two-stage heating is, is a high and low level for heating. So at one speed, your furnace is gonna provide more heat, and at the lower end, the lower speed, it's gonna provide less heat. And what's it what this allows you to do is heat your house up faster if it's really cold. So what we've got is a demonstration of a nest over here, a diagram of a nest thermostat, and we've got the furnace terminal board. Now for standard heating and cooling, you would just have a Y1, a W1, an RH, and a G. And each of these terminals means something different on the nest. And all of these terminals on the nest correspond to terminals inside the furnace terminal board. So if you were to open up your furnace, there's usually two panels, either in the top or the bottom panel, depending on your furnace manufacturer, you're gonna have a control board. And on that control board, where you can follow all the wires that go to, you'll see these different labels for that control board or the terminal board. And that is the terminals, which the wires that connect your thermostat to your furnace connect to. And each one of these puts out a signal and notifies your furnace to turn on and off depending on how it's wired. So we'll go around the nest, explain what each one of these means and how it works with two-stage heating and cooling. And a lot of people are just going to say, well, which wire color should I put where? Well, the answer to that is a little bit more complicated because not everybody has the wires wired to the same terminals in the terminal board. They should, but every you know, HVAC technician, developer, whatever, they wire their furnaces slightly different ways, maybe because they weren't trained in one way, or maybe they got a different color wire that came to the job site that day. It really doesn't matter, but in general, you can't trust these wires unless you had a picture of your old thermostat, which you should do, and then it's very easy to wire this up. But I'm gonna assume that you don't have that picture of your old thermostat, and maybe that's why you're here, or maybe you've got a new house and you wanna install the Nest. So if you ever don't know what color wire goes where, you can just refer back to the terminal board. You just take off the panels on the furnace and you can go ahead and look at that and figure out where the wires from here should connect to the nest. But the nest has all these different terminals on it. You've got W1, which is stage one heat. Uh, that would be like low speed. You've got stage two, which would be high speed heat. Now the common wire, most of you aren't going to need this or have this, but the common wire is basically like a neutral wire for your thermostat. And all it would do if you had one, it would connect from C to C on the furnace terminal. Typically common wires are blue. Uh, the auxiliary terminal is if you have a humidifier. And if you wanna hook up a humidifier, we've got another great video on that. We'll put a link to that below in the description, um, but I'm just gonna skip that for now. So it would be a humidifier or dehumidifier there. The RH is power. So what's unique about Nest is, and the RH wire is typically red. What's unique about Nest is that you actually have two power ports. They have an RH and an RC. And the reason they do that is some people have dual fuel systems. And in a dual fuel system, you might have a boiler combined with an air conditioner, and that would be dual fuel. And they need to have two power sources from each type of heating and cooling system. But the vast majority of you will not have that set up. You're just gonna have a single fuel system, uh, which would be a typical furnace or a heat pump, um, and you're not gonna have these more complicated setups. But if you do, you can look at some of our other videos on that. So RH is power, and it really doesn't matter if you've only got uh, one red wire, one power wire. If you put it in RH or RC, they are the same thing. I recommend people put it in RH just to be consistent. The G wire, that is your fan terminal, and your, all it does is activate the fan. So with the Nest, it allows you to turn on the fan even if you don't have heating and cooling on. It is a nice feature, and uh, that is what the G-Wire does. The other one is down here, the reversing valve, O and B, and basically that's a valve for heat pumps. Typically, if you have two-stage heating and cooling, you're not going to have a heat pump. You're going to have a gas-fired furnace or propane-fired furnace. So I'm going to skip that for this video. WY2 would be for cooling high speed or two stage cooling. If you have that, a lot of people that have two stage heating also have two stage cooling and that's just going to be high speed air conditioning cooling. And Y1, that would 
that is cooling stage one or just typical standard AC cooling. So that would be low speed cooling. But if you don't have two stage, you only need to put the Y wire, the Y1 wire into the Y1 one stage cooling and it will activate the AC. You can see we don't have WY2 connected, but you would just run something like this. So for two stage heating, it's super simple. You've just got one, two, three, four, five wires. And if you had two stage heating and two stage cooling, you would have six wires. You would have one more here. If you had a common wire with that, you would have seven wires. You would have a C wire to C. And if you didn't have a common wire and you only had single stage heating or single stage or dual stage heating, with single stage, you would have four wires. With double stage heating, you would have five wires. With double stage heating and a common, you would have six wires. So this kind of shows you the wiring diagram for a Nest thermostat. We've got a couple other questions or comments down below. Go ahead and post those. We've got other videos that show you how to do this and go even more in depth with the Nest thermostat. But if you didn't take a picture of your Nest thermostat and you don't know what the wiring should be for two-stage heating, just go back to your furnace, see what terminals you have on there where the wires are already connected, and you're gonna know how to connect this. Now, let's say you're setting up a brand new house with a furnace or your HVAC tech. None of these wires will be connected, so how do you know what to do? Well, you can just follow along this diagram or you can look in the manual for that HVAC uh, furnace and you can follow the same instructions that you would follow for a normal two-stage heating and cooling application as you would for the Nest thermostat. There's nothing unique about it. It works just like a normal thermostat. It just has smart technology built in and a Wi-Fi connection. So we hope you enjoyed this. Please like and subscribe. If you want to support us, click on any of the links below. Thank you.